So, 101 questions you need to ask in your 20s by Paul Aegon. And basic setup kind of looks like that. You got different questions. What is like what is your fear? What is fear keeping me from doing? Is it worth is it worth it? What would my life look like if I were okay being me? Uh, you got like a few pages like this, it'll have a quote from the author and you got like, we don't connect with each other through our pretend perfection, we connect over our shared struggle. Be brave enough to go first. Um, oh, what is my significant why? And you'll see like these different like symbols next to the number and each means something. That. So, uh, you got adult. User. Adulting to win, careerish, relationshiping, and a signature sauce. And at the contents, it it has the logo and what question is for each. Some overlap, which is fine, because they could overlap and be this about the same thing. Uh, there's a few ex a few exercises in some in some of them. I'll say, hey, list this. Uh, there's one with like a pie chart, and it says pie out these three things, what would it look like? There's one question that it's just the question. <laughs> some are uh, less than a page, like the answers are, some of them are less than a page. A few are like one or two pages. Uh, the tech, like text, is the regular Times Through No Times New Roman, but you also got it, it italicized and and or bolded. So and it varies at times. And so if you don't like that constant switch of it being italicized, bolded, left alone, it may be a little bit of annoy an annoyance for you. So but that's what the author has wanted, so that's what you have in the book. The answers are quick and to the point. It's not like a wishy-washy kind of answer. It's not this like philosophical kind of thing. Was, at points it might seem like it. Some have just like list type points. So, and in a way, it is like talking to a friend that is being like straightforward with you and be like, here, at a, here, how it is, with a little bit of uh, fun to it. Not complicated, not completely serious, not like complicated questions, but questions that many would like to ask, like, what is my something why? <laughs> so... At the end, there's a removable list of all the questions by the category. The symbols are next to the questions, like I showed. There is no conclusion. It just goes straight from 101 to the removable sheet. So, and again, you can go to the contents and say, oh, I want adultish and oh these are the questions and maybe you'll get some answers so it is a quick little read and and it's it might be a little fun to have a look at and so for me I didn't take it overly serious but some might, and it's just 
something to have a look at for some people. But yeah, like I reread a few of the questions because I'm like, yeah, I've asked myself that one or two times maybe. So I looked over at those questions, but yeah. 101 Questions You Need to Ask in Your 20s by Paul Angon. Happy readings.